to those of you who are joining us here on Facebook Live. This is 13 News reporter Mary Sugden. What you're looking at right now is happening just on the outside of Rockford City Market on the intersection of East State Street and Water. This just happened within just about when we got into the 6 o'clock show, just a couple seconds before we were going into the 6 o'clock show. Protesters started walking down East State Street, ending here at uh, the intersection that you're looking at. They did go and do about one circle through the intersection and then they're kind of now gathered on the other side of East State Street, on the other side of City Market. Now what we did hear from an organizer is that he did plan, the one that's walking across here, Leslie Rolf, is planning on blocking traffic. You're seeing that now. So again, this is just happening within the last few minutes. Now, if you remember a week, a couple weeks ago, it was the uh, Park District and the City of Rockford were in uh, conversations to change the boundaries here, kind of widen the boundaries so that there was space for both protesters and those coming to the market. So what they did is they expanded the boundaries into the Millennium Fountain Park that actually is owned by Rockford Park District. So at this point, the only designated point for protesters is at the Joe Marino Park. And then today, what's new with this is they blocked off a section of Water Street. So there really was no space for protesters other than in that Marino Park area. So again, they now have gathered here on the opposite side of East State Street across from City Market. And I can tell you what you can't see from my vantage point. There's a good amount of officers here. Um, who have been here for since the start of market, just kind of hanging around on either side of the market and different parts of the market. At this point, they're just standing, they're just watching, they're just observing. Um, no real action from officers at this point. Again, this just started in the last few minutes or so. So we're just going to keep watching it and, and let you know what we're seeing and, and what's happening from here on the corner of East State Street and Water. Let them keep corrupt this is what y'all wanted, right? This is what all these police officers are out here for. This is what they say the intimidation tactic. Bring 100 people, 150 people, a whole bunch of cars and guns. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go So again, for those of you just joining us here on Facebook Live, this is 13 News reporter Mary Sugden. You're looking at the intersection of Water and East State Street where protesters have started to walk here 
in the intersection as they have weeks before. And again, what we know from what a release that police sent out earlier this week, that people who block traffic here on East State Street would be arrested along with uh, disturbing the peace. Both of those would be things that they would be arrested for. So when this all started, it was different than any that I've seen down here before. Instead of them just kind of starting from the R.R. Star parking lot or, or starting from Joe Marina Park, there's actually somewhat of like a, a basically just a small parade of them that came down East State Street. From what I could see, it kind of started either Madison Street or maybe just the block before Madison Street down East State Street to end here at this intersection of water and state. And you're kind of seeing the tail end of that, of them starting to kind of process through and, and what's happening in front of us. As we can see, the officers are directing traffic around them. They're trying to direct traffic around the protesters and allow cars to come through here. And I do apologize. I know it's loud. I'm trying to not only talk over my mask, but of course, all of the noise that's out here. So I'll do my best for you so you can hear us as we kind of try to let you know what's going on. For those of you joining us here on Facebook Live, this is 13 News reporter Mary Sugden. Um, what you're looking at right now is the intersection of East State Street and Water in downtown Rockford. This happened just about just before 6 o'clock. It was just as we were heading into our 6 o'clock newscast that we saw a group of protesters walking down East State Street. It looked like they had started at maybe Madison Street or maybe the intersection up before that. And as you can see, they've kind of ended here, as we've seen before, um, here in this intersection of Water Street and East State. Now we did hear from the organizer, Leslie Rolf, kind of he gave a little speech before all of this started saying that he did plan on blocking traffic, as you are seeing right now. And from what we know from police of a release that they sent out yesterday is that they did plan on arresting people who did block traffic here, cause a traffic disturbance on East State Street. So far, no arrests. We have not seen anything like that. What we have seen is officers in the street kind of directing these cars that are going to be coming past your screen, kind of around the protesters, trying to get them through the area without anyone getting hurt. How's she going to feel? So as you can see, yeah, right there in front of you, officers just directing traffic kind of around what's happening here in the intersection. There's about, I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, just about six protesters that are part of this march through the circle here, through the intersection. And then what you might not be able to see off to your left is there's a good number, I would say, just looking quickly, maybe about 30 or so protesters gathered on the other side of East State Street. And then also what you can't see is behind us here on the other side of, Mark, of excuse me, of East State Street at the City Market area, there is a good number of officers um, just, just standing, and they're on the other side as well as in the Star parking lot, um, just kind of watching, observing, just standing here. So again, no arrests out here at City Market, no violence, anything like that to report at this point.
those of you watching on Facebook Live, but you'll might if you missed it in the news um, in the last week or so, uh, the Rockford Park District was in conversations with the city of Rockford to kind of change the boundaries here at Rockford City Market. And they did that. They expanded it into where the Millennium Fountain is, kind of along the river. And then what they did is designate Joe Moreno Park, which is just right on the intersection, just off the intersection of state and water. That's the designated protest spot. That is not where the protests are right now. The other new thing today is that they put up uh, quite a bit of fencing, just kind of orange construction cones and fencing on this section of Water Street that kind of blocks Joe Moreno Park from the other side of Rockford City Market. So at this point, there's a, a decent sized barrier here to kind of keep a distance between protesters and the rest of City Market. But again, we haven't seen that really be needed because they've basically been on this other side of East State Street or in the middle of the intersection as you're seeing right now. Another thing that was new tonight is we saw a release from a number of local clergy um, who are coming out here tonight. Their plan, if Water Street wasn't blocked off the way that it is, was to kind of stand in the middle of Water Street, um, kind of just praying in that area. They, they made it clear that it was not to take a certain side, that it was not to block anyone from another group. Their, their key point is, as religious leaders, we have the ability and the strength to support police, but also want to push for racial equality, racial equity and that they were hoping that their presence down here could maybe bring some peace, kind of less the tensions, and, and hope that tonight would end in a, a much more peaceful way. But again, we haven't um, been able to see much of that tonight just because the layout is different than last week. So again, what's kind of happening tonight is protesters have taken to the intersection of Water and State Street, as we've seen in weeks past, um, and instead of being a total shutdown of traffic, what we've seen is that officers have been able to kind of one by one direct cars, kind of weave them through the protesters, if you will. Um, and so far, that's been working decently well. Um, people have been making it through. No one's been hurt. No arrests have happened. And this just started at just before 6 o'clock. So again, we're just going to hang out here, observe what's happening, and then kind of keep you guys informed of, of this happening in, in downtown Rockford. But again, if you were planning on coming into this area, or planning on coming anywhere into um, near City Market for parking, anything like that, you're just going to want to avoid this area because obviously there's um, some type of traffic disturbance here. It's going to make getting through town um, that much more difficult. So again, just, you're going to want to avoid the area if you don't want those kind of traffic headaches.
So again, for those of you joining us here on Facebook Live, this is 13 News reporter Mary Sugden. What you're looking at right now is the intersection of East State Street and Water Street in downtown Rockford. And protesters have gathered here, as you can see, kind of processing through the intersection here. And what we've seen from officers is they're just basically directing traffic kind of around the protesters. They're just directing traffic kind of around the protesters at this point so far. No arrests, no injuries, um, no real, I guess, chaos is the word to use here just yet. Um, like we've seen in, in relative to past weeks is what I mean when I say that, because obviously this is a disturbance. But again, this is not what we've seen in past weeks. Um, it was a little bit different as well. Um, protesters started, they kind of processed down. There's a group of them that blocked, I would say, maybe pick up about just a lane of traffic. Came down East State Street. It started either just just on the other side, I would say, of Madison Street, if you can picture the downtown layout, and ended here down at Water and East State. Uh, right now, we see an officer in the middle of the intersection with a bullhorn, um, trying to get. It sounds like some type of order. If you do not follow the, all, uh, the instruction of the officers directing traffic, you will be arrested and taken to jail, is what that officer with the bullhorn just told them. That if protesters do not listen to the orders of officers directing traffic, they will be arrested and taken to jail. Again, that's coming from the officer that you're seeing here in the middle of the intersection with the bullhorn. And now you're seeing kind of a group of officers. I'm seeing one, two, three, four. Just a little bit over 12 officers coming down State Street, kind of coming to this area. So again, from behind our camera, kind of coming the other way. Now we're seeing officers start to make a move into the intersection, and we are seeing arrests taking place. These are the first arrests that we've seen of the night. At this point, it's looking like um, seeing one, seeing two people being arrested at this point, one of those being Leslie Rolfe, who is one of the well-known organizers of the Justice for May 30th Alliance. As you can see, he's being taken away in, in handcuffs right now. There's another protester on the ground who's been put in handcuffs as well. And again, this is coming just directly after an officer with a bullhorn gave the order that if, or, excuse me, if protesters did not listen to the officers, the orders that they were giving about directing traffic and blocking traffic, that they would be arrested. So this is coming directly after those orders from police here in this intersection. And now what you can't see is on the, I apologize, I know traffic's loud. If you look, you can't see on the other side behind the cameras, there's a good number of officers here. Just from what I'm seeing, I can see just about 16 officers behind the camera. That's just on my side. That's not including the other side. So obviously, a, a, a quite a police presence down here, um, kind of anticipating this. this fall, what we're basically hearing from our vantage point right here is officers just telling protesters that they want them on a certain side of the sidewalk, kind of on a certain line here, 
um, as they are arresting or at least taking people into custody and putting them into um, law enforcement vehicles that are in the Reg Rockford Register Star building. So again, all that we could see from our vantage point was t a total of two people arrested at this point. And that came directly after orders from officers that if um, protesters did not adhere to the orders being given by police in the middle of the street for them to disperse, that they would be arrested. So that came directly after that order from police. Now what you are looking at right now is um, what I believe to be a group that was kind of part of that clergy group that I, if you heard me talk about earlier tonight, that was coming down here um, to kind of pray in the area. Now I can't confirm that anyone in this group is an actual clergyman. I did speak to one woman who said that she was not associated with any specific church, um, but did want to come out here following what she saw at last week's protest um, to kind of show solidarity. Um, and kind of support the, the First Amendment right of the protesters was kind of her sentiment. So they seem to have uh, taken up kind of the processing here. Now what we're looking at right now is protesters have taken to the middle of East State Street. They're walking up East State Street. There's still a number of people that are behind us here on that one side of East State Street. They're now blocking this part of State Street as they walk up. This is heading toward the intersection of State and Madison in downtown Rockford. And really this just happened abruptly. Um, just this big group started to walk.
from our perspective, spontaneously. For those of you who join us here on Facebook Live, uh, we just took a corner at the first and market. We're now walking down Market Street toward Rockford Street Market. And it's going to be interesting to see which way they go once they get to the market. Because again, Joe Marino Park is what the city market, what the Rock River, uh, Rock River Development Corporation partnership has been as the designated protest area that anyone coming into those boundaries um, to serve the peace. Again, we're just kind of keeping an eye on them. So that they will potentially either go through market or potentially just go back to the area that they were before on the station. So we're just walking along here to kind of see where this goes. Again, if we were planning on driving anywhere in this area, now we're going to have to market in Madison. Probably best to avoid the area if you don't uh, want to get involved in a little bit of a traffic hiccup. Okay, so it looks like we are now taking a left here on Madison Street toward East State Street. So to kind of situate you, this is um, the street that Mavcai is on, the Rockford Indoor Market. Facebook Live. This is 13 News reporter Mary Sagan. Right now, protesters have taken to the street right now, walking down Madison toward East State Street. Um, if they turn right and go back down East State Street, we'll be kind of heading toward where they originated from at that intersection. And it appears that there's some people outside a restaurant established here, kind of shouting at the protesters here. That's starting a little bit of a back and forth. to direct traffic around protesters here. But again, at this point, we've seen two people arrested. That was two people who were in the middle of the street. Um, and that came directly after officers gave an order through the um, bullhorn that anyone who disobeyed order, uh, officers' orders as they were trying to direct traffic would be arrested. And just about 30 seconds, less than a minute after that, um, two people were arrested. One of those being uh, Leslie Wolf, who, um, if you follow this, movement, the Justice for May 30th Alliance. He is um, one of the, the heads of that, at least someone who we hear a lot from, one of the organizers, one of the public figures for that. So we did see one of the, kind of the key pieces of the movement get arrested. But at this point, from our vantage point, just those two, and we are now heading back to kind of where this started, um, is at the intersection of Water and East State Street.
So for those of you just joining us here on Facebook Live, this is 13 News reporter Mary Sugden. What you're looking at right now is kind of one of the more calm moments we've seen so far tonight since the protesting began. Um, we have seen two people taken into custody. Um, what happened was they were um, in the middle of the intersection, uh, kind of blocking traffic on and off with walking kind of in a, a circle formation as we've seen in weeks past. And directly before they got arrested, officers gave the order that if they disobeyed officers' orders as they were directing traffic that they would be arrested. Um, following that, a large group of people started to process downtown. They started here at Water and State. They walked up to First Street on State Street, took a left, took a left again on Madison. Wasn't sure if they were heading towards the market. They ended up turning back left up Madison um, and then right again to end up here on East State Street, which is what you're kind of seeing at the tail end of now. Now, again, what officers have said is you know, problems with people crossing or walking through here. It's, it's the deliberate blocking of traffic. Um, they have said that if you disobey officers' orders with that, that that's when people would be taken into custody. So, again, at this point, we have seen two people taken into custody tonight. Um, this started just before 6 o'clock, so it's just been going on for about 40 minutes at this point. protesters reading their list of demands, which we've seen um, on Facebook and at, at various protests and rallies before, things like that they want an independent investigation into what happened on May 30th outside of District 1. They want to know each officer who discharged their taser that night as well. They would 
would like elected officials to condemn the actions of police on May 30th outside District 1. They want the city of Rockford to pay for counseling services and things of that nature, mental health of those that they say um, were impacted on that night as well.
can't stand him. That's what I got arrested for. Sugden, what you're looking at right now is on the intersection of East State and Water Street. Um, what you're looking at right now is the, the group of protesters that have gathered here. They're kind of on the opposite side of East State Street, on the other side um, from the city market. At this point, what I can tell you uh, from what we've seen out here, two people were arrested. That came after um, officers um, told them through a kind of a bullhorn that anyone who disobeyed officers' orders when it came to directing traffic would be arrested. At that point, protesters were kind of processing through the intersection, um, and that's when that happened. So again, we saw here um, just a few minutes ago. What you saw a few minutes ago was some of the singing and now uh, chanting here happening um, by protesters. But again, at this point, two arrests um, at this point. And following those arrests, we did see this large group of protesters that you're looking at. They started to process down East State Street. Um, they went as far as First Street, where they took a left to uh, Market Street, and then took another left back on Madison, back down State to end up here. So just kind of really a kind of a square block here of downtown. But we haven't seen anyone try to cross into um, City Market boundaries or um, through uh, the kind of the barrier that the city set up today, city or police uh, actually, and just on the other side of the camera you can't see it, but there is a, a large um, amount of um, barrier that's been put up on Water Street that basically um, just kind of blocks um, that section of Water Street. Now again on the right side of this barrier is City Market, on the left hand side um, is Joe Marino Park, and Joe Marino Park is actually what has been designated as the um, protesting zone, designated protesting zone. That came after the city and uh, the park district kind of worked together, had some discussions and decided to expand the City Market footprint, and to do that they uh, expanded it to Millennium uh, Fountain and that park that surrounds it. And with that, they wanted to designate Joe Marino Park as kind of the designated protest area. Again, that's not where protesters are and not where you're seeing them right now. They are on the other side of East State Street. And again, at this point, what we've seen is two people arrested so far tonight. And since then, it's basically been um, this for at least, I'd say, the last 10, maybe almost 15 minutes of just protesters singing, chanting from that side of the street, um, police in the middle uh, directing traffic on State Street. And that's kind of... Uh, like I said, just the, the mood and, and kind of the more calmness that we've seen out here in past weeks and tonight.
So again, for those of you joining us here on Facebook Live, this is 13 News reporter Mary Sugden. And what you're kind of seeing right now is kind of more of a calm um, situation that we've seen since protesting started tonight and, and relative compared to um, in weeks past when we've seen um, some protests here on Friday night. I can tell you at this point we've seen two people arrested. Um, they were walking through the intersections here on state and water. Um, uh, blocking traffic at times kind of in the way of cars. We saw officers kind of directing traffic around them. And then we saw officers, uh, an officer with a, a bullhorn who gave the order that anyone who disobeyed officers' orders when it came to traffic flow and, and making traffic um, flow through this stretch of East State, they would be arrested. So directly after that, I'd say about, you know, about a minute, two minutes or so after that, that first order was given, uh, a couple people were taken into custody, two people were taken into custody. And then following that, um, kind of the larger group that you're seeing on this opposite side of East State Street from Rockford City Market, um, they kind of went on a march and they marched up East State Street to First Street, took a left on First Street, um, and then from First Street took another left on Market Street, and again a left on Madison Street. So really just making kind of a square block there in downtown Rockford. Before they ended up back here, and then it's, this is basically about what, what we've seen, as you can see, an officer kind of in the middle there um, who's got his eye on traffic, and is, you know, as people walk through the intersection, he's able to kind of direct traffic around them. But other than those two arrests, which came just about, I would say, maybe about 6.30 or so, um, without looking at my watch, I would say it's about half an hour into the protesting. Um, we haven't seen anything like that, no more clashes, nothing like what we've seen in, in, in past uh, Friday nights here at Rockford City Market. Um, we did hear from some local clergy, and I can see some standing around me on the other side of the camera that you can't see, who have come down here. Um, and they said their plan tonight was to kind of stand in a section of Water Street um, to kind of stand between protesters and police. They said specifically not taking a side. They wanted to be clear on that, not here to take a side, but more so praying for peace, praying for unity, um, saying that as religious leaders that they had the power and the position to support police while also wanting to push for racial equity, racial equality, and some police reforms that they um, feel are needed in the community and, and some of, of what we hear echoed from protesters. So again, we haven't seen that happen tonight because again, um, there is a barrier that's kind of blocking the main section of Water Street. Um, that was kind of the main area where we saw basically kind of the, the gray area, if you will, kind of between Joe Marina Park, which is the designated protester site, and the other site, which was Rockford City Market. So at this point, we're, what you're seeing is, is kind of all there is to, to say for right now. Uh, protesters on the other side, every once in a while we're hearing a new chant. You can hear the drums going some songs from here or there, but again, we've only seen that them blocking traffic, kind of walking through the, the four crosswalks here on East State and Water Street, um, right where the camera's position that was happening for a period of time. We haven't seen that since people got arrested. Um, we did see the march through downtown, but since then it's it's been more of this, of, of kind of standing, the chanting, um, protesters on one side, we've got, you know, market goers that have kind of come to see what's happening, along with some officers on this side media on this side, just kind of um, taking it all in what's happening. Um, but again, this is kind of more, more of a calm, um, calm presence that we've seen out here so far tonight, and again, relative to past weekends that have um, escalated with a number of arrests.
Facebook Live, what you're looking at is protesters who have gathered here uh, near the intersection of state and water. They were just singing Ain't No Mountain High Enough, and now have uh, returned to some of the chants. What I can tell you from tonight that we've seen definitively is that two people were arrested. Um, this came after they were kind of processing through the intersection here, walking in circles through the intersection like we've seen in past weeks, and an officer gave an order through the bullhorn saying anyone who disobeyed officer's orders when it came to traffic and traffic flow and, and blocking traffic that they would be arrested. So following that order, maybe about a minute or so, a couple minutes after those orders, repeated orders were given, um, officers did take two protesters into custody, one of those being Leslie Rolf, who, um, if you followed the Justice for May 30th Alliance, we know that he is one of the um, organizers um, kind of one of the more outspoken, kind of someone that we see as the as uh, figurehead of, of that group. He, along with another protester, were taken into custody. Since then, um, no one else has been arrested. Following those arrests, we also did see protesters uh, march down State Street. They went uh, toward downtown, up toward uh, First Street, and kind of did a, a block there. It went First Street to Market to Madison, and back here um, to where you see them here on East State Street. So really just kind of a, 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 a you know, kind of square march here. And since then, this is basically what we've seen. It's, it's been a mix of, um, you can hear the drums singing, um, chanting. And you see an officer, there's an officer in the middle of the intersection who's just kind of there preventively um, directing traffic. I haven't really seen uh, anyone in the intersection uh, since those uh, two people were arrested. There's been a couple people here or there that have walked through. Um, we did see um, a group of women um, walk through after, but for the most part, since, since those orders were given, people have either you know walked at the at a time when there was no traffic or have kind of waited and listened to officers who said you know when they could and couldn't walk. So again, this comes after the city and the park district had had conversations of kind of expanding the boundary of city market. And originally, um, the market did not extend, and still does not extend, into Joe Marino Park or Millennium Fountain. The park district signed off and gave the RRDP the okay to expand the city market footprint into the Millennium Fountain area, into that park that's there. So at this point, the Joe Marino Park is the designated protester spot. No protesters are there. That's just on the other side of the camera. So what you're seeing is on the other side of East State Street, opposite of where City Market is. So just, just up from the Rockford Register Star Building. And this started just before 6 o'clock when we first saw protesters. We first saw them. They were walking, kind of marching down East State Street. And we could maybe see them from maybe about Madison Street, uh, somewhere in that area, we weren't totally sure where they started, um, but when we first saw them, we could see them from Madison Street, and then we saw them um, here, and kind of what we've seen before of them, you know, walking the, the intersection and kind of this area here. kind of more of a calm scene um, that we've seen tonight. Um, we did see two people arrested and this is basically uh, kind of what we've seen for hard to say but I'd say maybe at least about a half an hour or so now. Um, this is where they've come back to since kind of marching through um, the downtown area. And again you can't really see it but in the different vantage points around um, the camera I can see on the other side of the street, maybe about 10 officers, just from my vantage point that I can see, kind of in the star parking lot on the other side of protesters, and maybe about the same a little bit more on the other side of, of East State Street, kind of more towards uh, City Market. And they're just really standing there, kind of observing what's happening, other than the officer. Excuse me, other than the officer that you... Uh, have seen kind of in the middle of the intersection there, the one that's kind of towards the right of your screen. That's really all we've seen um, 
Roth is doing anything at this point. He's just kind of in there to direct traffic, kind of tell people to slow down. So we have seen people kind of coming through the crosswalks here or there. So he's just making sure that um, no one gets hurt or hit. We also heard um, for a period there once protesters returned back from their march, we heard them uh, read off their list of demands, which we've seen on Facebook. We've seen um, them read off at uh, a number of protests and rallies, um, things like wanting an independent investigation to what happened um, outside District 1 on May 30th. Um, they want to know um, those officers who were involved either um, with arresting or the different uses of force that they used, whether it was tasers, things like that. Um, they've also uh, have a demand with uh, basically asking for types of, of some type of counseling or, or services for those arrested who they say were in some way traumatized from that night. So again, that's, that's their demands that they have read tonight. Um, but again, at this point, two people arrested, one of those being um, an organizer with the Justice for May 30th Alliance. Um, I can tell you too, just from being at these events and covering the events, the other man who was arrested, I did recognize him. I have seen him at a number of these events. So it's safe to say two people arrested are those that have been heavily um, involved with the Justice for uh, May 30th Alliance. Um, faces that are, you know, that you would, presence that you would uh, recognize here with this movement. But at this point, again, protesters haven't tried to enter City Market at all. Um, there's been no movement towards the other side um, of the barrier that was set up. Um, there's a big kind of uh, big barrier that was put on a, a section of uh, Water Street, basically half of Water Street between here and Madison. And it just basically kind of made the barrier bigger. Um, if protesters would have gone to the designated Joe Marino Park site, um, there would have been much more of a buffer than we've seen in past um, Fridays between them and the rest of City Market. But again, they haven't used the Joe Marino Park or the designated protest spot. They've been kind of in this section um, that you're seeing them right now on the other side of East State Street, um, just chanting, singing, and that's where we've seen them for at least about a half hour, if not more, um, so far tonight.